Welcome to Crafting with Peggy Carter. Today I will show you how to make my shield and Captain America's shield as accessories. Alright, this is an upcycling project, so the first step is to find soda cans with empty blue and red areas. For the silver parts, use the inside of any can or find a can with a more shiny silver exterior. Next, find different round objects so you can draw the outlines of the shields. See how much you need for the biggest circle and cut out enough material. Then flatten it out with a marker or something similar. Cover it with masking tape so you can draw the circle on it. Or use a glue stick to attach your template. Then cut out the circle. Continue until you have all the circles you need. By the way, you can make a double sided shield by super gluing a blue and a red piece together before cutting out the circle. Let's make the star on Steve's shield next. For this you will need to look for silver rubbish, like a bag of crisps or chocolate wrapper. It was surprisingly hard to create a symmetrical star, so let me give you some tips. I made a template first by drawing a circle and roughly marking the center. Then I drew 5 dots on the circle and tried to space them out as evenly as possible. Now we just need to connect the dots with a ruler. The dot in the center helps you see if it's symmetrical. Close enough. Stick that onto the back side of the silver packaging. Again you can use tape as well. Then cut out the shape using the smallest scissors you have, like these nail scissors. If it comes off easily, you can remove the template. Make sure that the star doesn't go beyond the inner circle and glue it on with a glue stick or school glue. Be generous with the glue because it can easily be cleaned off the metal. We will seal that in later on, but first let's create the union jack. I'm using tape as a guideline for the first cross. Then I use a needle and a ruler and scratch the outlines of the cross into the metal. Go over the outlines until you're happy with them. Then repeat that with the next cross and look at the reference for the details. Next, scratch the leftover areas because we will paint them blue. I'm taping off the red parts and then I'm going over the whole thing with a thin layer of blue acrylic paint. After peeling off the tape, you can correct with a toothpick and a needle. The thinner the layer of paint, the easier this part will be. Now I made my homeland proud. To protect the paint on all of the pieces, I'm covering them with nail polish. If your shield is for display only, you could skip this step, but I do recommend to at least cover the center parts. After letting the pieces dry overnight, I roughened up all of the areas that needed to be glued with a needle. This is optional, but good practice. Now it's finally time to... Assemble. For this part I'm using super glue. 
I'm using as little as possible because if it seeps out it leaves a white residue and is almost impossible to clean. So no pressure. I recommend to start gluing from the center outwards because that way you can correct asymmetries with your scissors. Beautiful! I wanted to turn this double-sided one into an accessory, so I marked where I wanted a hole with tape and pierced the outer ring with a map tack. This works well on a thick magazine or newspaper. You will need an overlapping jump ring, because soda cans are so thin, they will slip through any gap. Now I can make jewelry, or keychains, or just throw the shields at unsuspecting victims. Thanks for watching my show, and here are some more programs you could enjoy.